Helen Watt at YGY Club, thanks so much for joining us. And I want to um, talk to you today about coffee. So one of my leaders stopped by, we're having a little business meeting this morning and I was fixing him a cup of coffee. And it occurred to me that between that and what happened yesterday when we were playing with essential oils that people don't know how amazing the Longevity coffee is. So we sell it a couple different ways. We sell it in bags of bean coffee, we sell it in ground coffee, and we sell it in Longevity Y cups for your Keurig. One of my favorite things about this coffee, aside from the amazing taste, is that every purchase that you make helps support our Be The Change Foundation. And um, I, I heard Dave Brisky and Sunshine Brisky say about a year and a half ago at the convention that we had raised over $100,000 in our first year, but if everybody purchased just one bag of coffee a month, that we could raise over $100,000 a month for our Be The Change Foundation. So I just wanna encourage you to try the coffee, throw it in your auto share, or just make a purchase. But um, let me tell you a little bit more about it and what we're doing. So if you get the ground coffee, you can add it to a French press. And a couple of different coffees that I have in my house is regular coffee. Um, we've got this amazing Diet Plus coffee that's got an appetite suppressant in it. We've got Energy Extreme, so think about this as like a triple shot of coffee. And then we've got um, a couple of different flavors. So if you're doing a French press, you would just, oh, let me get a spoon, sorry. You would just put um, a scoop of coffee in your French press, add boiling water, and then let it seep for about two minutes, and then, um, and then pour out your cup of coffee. So I love this, this is great. We use our French press. You could also use a regular coffee machine with this ground coffee, or you could um, get the beans and you could have a machine that grinds the beans and then you could have it preset you know, to do it. So look at the texture of this coffee though. See how amazing that is? The reason I want you to look at that is because I'm gonna compare it to what's in the Y cups. And so I've got a little plate here. If you could just zoom in on this little plate, Ken. So one of the gals yesterday was talking about how she doesn't like all of these Y cups going to waste in the environment. So I just wanna show you and give you a little sneak peek at what we're doing and what we've got coming up at a future YGY Club gathering. And that's that we are recycling the contents of this cup. So take out the coffee, dump it onto a little plate or a bowl. You can see how easily the trash pulls out. So this is trash that we're gonna throw away. And we're gonna save the coffee and we're gonna save the Y cup. So let me show you why. The Y cup can be rinsed out and reused for several different things. First of all, you could put a piece of tape over the bottom of it and you could um, freeze different things for healthy living like um, vegetable broth that you've made or tomato paste. Um, but I'm saving them. You can see I've got a whole little collection here and I am saving them for a project with a scout troop. So if you have somebody in your area that works with Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts, they could use this to even do seedlings for plants this spring or kindergarten teachers. So lots of great reasons to reuse these and keep them out of our landfills. And then the second thing is with this ground coffee, Look, um, I'm just uh, airing it out. So zoom in just a little bit here so they can see this amazing coffee. So you can see this side is darker than this. This is wet, right? So we just made this coffee and this is where it's drying. And then what I'm doing is I'm putting it in this jar. So this is used coffee and we are gonna be creating all kinds of things like coffee sugar scrubs and um, using them for composting in our gardens this spring. So that's your little sneak peek at what we've got coming up this year in YGY Club is some ways that we can upcycle our coffee after we've enjoyed a delicious cup, how can we use it differently? And that's also the difference between the ground coffee and the Y cups. The Y cup is ground a little bit finer so that it's uh, got more surface area, I guess, to um, take in all the coffees. You're gonna have to talk with Dave Brisky about that. He's amazing with our coffee, knows everything about it. And um, anyway, so I just love, love, love the Longevity coffee. Super easy to use, great way to switch where you shop, and hope you guys are enjoying a great cup today and staying warm. Bye.